There are a lot of annoying things in MLBP and there are some that I can't get over at all and I bet you guys have suffered it too. Hi guys Kazuki here and in this video we are going to talk about some of the most annoying things in MLBB and see why it's so annoying. So without any further ado let's start with our video. As you guys know this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating and similarly this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. First we have Nana's Molina. You might already know why I took this little It is one of the most annoying things in MLBB especially for those frontline heroes. It will transform us making us a sitting duck, I mean Molina. Imagine getting that in the middle of a team fight. Leto. Many of you guys have already seen this mini CCTV. It reveals our position on the map. The enemy's side laners can see us before rotating, which is annoying, as they will get an alert before we reach them. Jask. The slow effect and damage in the early game make this skill so annoying. Even the attack range is long and nightmare skill mainly for tanks and fighters. He even summons this when he dies which means if you killed him with your HP low the nightmare spawn can kill you too. Valir. His skill 1 and his skill 2 combination is like getting unlimited slow and burn effects. If you have made good Valir players, then you might have seen it. He will push you back and keep on stunning you, which makes it so annoying. Flameshot. For his spells, I would say this is one of the most annoying. Since it can knock you back, which makes it hard to catch up and cooldown is very low too. And plus it can target you from a long distance, which makes it painful. Selena Selena is a package of annoying heroes. Her trap reveals our location and helps enemies to surprise us with unwanted combos. When you are in low HP and if it got attached to you, no one can save you. Her abyssal arrow which has unlimited stun is even more worse. Diggy We have another skill that is similar to Selena's trap which is Diggy's time bomb. It will explode when we approach it and it also reveal our position making us vulnerable. It has a low cooldown and they can keep a load in one spot which will even one shot us. Then comes his second skill which will pull us back to the same spot after 4 seconds which is freaking annoying when you are trying to run away from the enemy. When he dies he becomes an egg and that egg can move around the map freely. It wouldn't let you recall at all and can reveal our location too. Estes The annoying thing about Estes is his ultimate. I know there are other healers too but Estes is the worst. It would make his and their teammates HP nearby full within seconds. So you either kill him first or one shot the enemy or they will be full within seconds. 1-1 one, one. You guys might already know why I took her. It's mainly because of her passive. It's impossible to catch her if you don't have a dash skill or a skill that increases movement speed. And if you have already met her in the enemy team, then you might have seen how annoying she is. Natalia 
If you are using a squishy hero, then you would know why I added her. Sometimes you will die without even seeing her. She would come invisible and eliminate you and leave. And you can't do anything about it. Malisa. Yes, you heard it right. I am talking about her second skill. It not only exposes your location but also slows us down and deal damage when she uses her basic attack. The extra damage and the slow effect make it so annoying. Kufra. If you are using a dash skill dependent hero, you know exactly what I am talking about. It is a pain in the ass when you are trying to escape with a dash skill. If you use the dash skill, you will end up getting knocked up all the time. Hence, we are useless against him. Argus Argus is the only hero that is immortal within his ultimate state. Ever fell into a situation where you were about to kill him, but he was just waiting for you to use all your skills and then he kills you instead. Hilda we also have Hilda on the list. Yes, because of her poking abilities. She is a monster during the early game with that high damage and HP region. And even if she would build only tank items, she will still manage to kill squishy heroes. Akai the Annoying Panda He will spin and pin you at walls where we literally can't do anything or will push you inside his turret and during his ultimate state, nothing can approach him. Glue Glue's ultimate is one of the most unique skill in ML. He will get attached to your body and can pull you towards his teammates. And if your teammate attack him, you will also get damage. What you can do is just wait for this parasite to get off your body. Franco Yes, obviously how can we leave Franco? He will hook you and suppress you out of nowhere. And if you are playing as a jungler, beware of him. In the late game, if you get hooked, and ultimate by him, you are dead for sure. Phobius Well, you know how annoying he can be when you are using one one or a hero with load of dash skills like Lancelot, Joy, etc. He would keep on jumping on you here and there while dealing damage and gaining a shield. Johead. He is annoying for both sides. If you haven't bought a Johead potion, he will just throw you near enemies. And if in the enemy team, he will just throw us near his teammates and then you know the rest. At last we have Hanjo. He can just leave his body and chase us with his soul. He even gets increased movement speed and attack speed. It can even pass through walls and even if we kill the soul, he won't die. As his real body is safe on the other part of the map. So that will be all for this video. Do you guys think those things I mentioned in the video are annoying? And if you also have more annoying things in MLBB, do comment down below so that I can add them in future upcoming videos. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.